Holy roly poly moly guacamole, it's Will Survives, and I'm Scoobity Boo. I'll back with another one. Hey, hey, hey. Go get him, Frank. Okay guys, the YouTube video finally uploaded. I can film what I'm doing now. I'm about to grab the tripod. Uh, yes, I'm about to grab the tripod and then head up to Jesse's. Let's see what we can get done. Come on, Frank. Once he thinks he's being left behind, he mobs. Come on, little one. I've been brushing him out every day so he doesn't get matted. That's what some people told me to do. But I'm wondering, are they supposed to get matted? If he lives in the woods, does that help? Okay, guys, never, uh, never do what I did. But I put OSB right here. Now I can fill these gaps. I put it at this angle coming over the top of this log. So, uh, yeah, I got to figure out. I don't know what to do, honestly, for real. I might just test it out with a bucket of water or something, but I don't know, honestly. Don't do not do this either. I saw a great comment that said, since I didn't peel the bark, once the bark falls off, it's just gonna, the mud's gonna come off with it. 90% chance that I'm covering these with tarps uh, next winter or this spring, maybe. Uh, but yeah, this is where I'm at, guys. Just, I know I'm doing everything wrong. But also, it's going to work. Got up this temporary... Why can't you see that? Got up this temporary wind and uh, rain block from this scrap OSB I had from the floor. Temporary. That's where the stove's going to go out of. I've decided that I'm going to also line these walls with canvas tarp, running it down below the floor because I just don't want to run the risk of water coming in. I'll do mud too to make it look sick, but gonna do gonna do canvas tarps also here just to protect his head from touching the and pillow from touching the charred wood. And so on Monday when I go take Frank to the vet, I'll stop at Harbor Freight and get more canvas tarp. So basically, guys, what I'm saying is it's finished. Hoop dog, it's finished. I'm just gonna clean up. Oh, uh, yeah, all the tools. Okay, I need to remember to get more of those uh, screws with the rubber. Oh, I have some. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more than that. So some rubber washer screws, some roofing screws. Uh, I'm going to clean up everything and then probably clean up some of this brush too surrounding the spot. <laughs> it's funny. Honestly, I, I'm liking the look of this house so much more than mine. Uh, I think the key is the wood roof. I'm wondering if I could cover my roof with wood. But it looks so sick. And once I add an awning and it's all cleaned up a little more, it's going to look crazy. Okay, I've got all my stuff picked up and all the trash picked up. I'm probably actually going to leave... Ooh, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Cleared it up a little bit. He's got a nice path. He could even build something here. We could do freaking ATV shed right here. Right next to it. Cleared up in the front. More walking room. Room for a porch now. Man, I got to get to that porch. Okay, I've cleaned up Lucky Spot real nice. Move my car out the way. This parking spot, he should be headed up this weekend. Got a truck bed full of trash I gotta dump. And this is all the scrap wood I've collected. This is from my old loft bed and 
lumber that uh, Lucky Thrives brought up here and then got buried by the snow. And it's starting to get unburied. So, moving it all over there. Are you the one that's attacking Hooper, dude? Oh shit. Get him. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey. Who? Too rough, brother. Frank, are you done playing with him? Who? Stop. Who? No more playing rough with Frank, okay, buddy? He's taking a break. See, he's going to eat food. Let him go eat food in peace. Oh, he's not even going to eat food. Who? Don't even think about it, brother. Let him do his thing, son. Yes. 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 Frank is warming up to the spot for sure. He, uh, he was just exploring for the first time I saw him. Saw him over there on the other side. He was walking around. Hoop was following him. Making sure he's safe. He also likes to beat him up. But Frank also messes with Hoop, I guess, when Hoop's trying to sleep. <sighs> They're having a fun time. Hoop, go get him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's so peaceful right now. Oh, shit. Okay, hoop, hoop, hoop. Hoop! Hoop! God. It's gotta be loud. I just read a super genius comment about uh, how to get the dog to eat out of their own bulls. Just move the bulls 10 to 15 feet apart. They can eat in peace without worrying what the other dog is doing. Do do do. Do do do. -do. Frank, I saw someone say I should get a cat for the mice. And honestly, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea. Cats tend to take care of themselves. I think you'd have an awesome life out here. Bunch of mice out here running all around in the uh, in these stick piles I've got. So many mice. I've got something huge living in my roof. I don't know what it is. And I think there's mice living under Jesse's floor too. Uh, if getting a cat was gonna be too much work, I don't think I would wanna do it. But if, if they take care of themselves kinda, I just gotta like feed them and give them water and stuff. I think, I think that might be a cool idea. Just saw a comment that said, if I do the awning on Jesse's house, I don't gotta worry about making that window perfect, which, is true and so smart. I'm gonna be in more of a time crunch to get that awning up now. Frank, go follow who? <laughs> Frank tends to just follow Hoop Dog around. Unless I go do something, then he's following me. If I'm just standing here, he'll follow Hoop. 
And then if Frank ever decides to explore hoops, usually following Frank. Frank blends in with Hooper. <laughs> well, I want to do an awning. Haven't figured out how to do it yet. I want to use this tree. I cut this, but it's like um, diagonal to this. And I oh, shit. kind of was only going to do an awning down, down to here. Okay, wait, now nah, just let me think without videoing it real quick. Okay, I haven't figured it out yet, but just want to let you guys know I have decided that it has to go a little further down than just there. Like maybe there. Or all the way down, I don't know. I feel like I may just be being dumb, but I can't really think of a cool way to do this. The original plan was just to do the same style all the way out with these logs, maybe a little smaller because we don't have a post here, but all these logs are screwed into this log right here. So I can't even like take my chainsaw and cut it or nothing because I'll just hit all these freaking big screws. If I was going to do that method, I would... do a log right there like on top of this one and same on that side and then hope that this log is outside of all these and can go to this beam uh, without creating a gap between that and the one that's on top of this one boom hope that made sense <laughs> what's up dude Is this real? <sighs> so, oh my gosh. How did I not notice this happening? And was this Frank? Was all of this in Frank? Oh my God. Holy shit. Frank. What the hell? <sighs> I really did think I smelled that earlier. But dude, I let him. I'm honestly. I let him out, dude. Okay, I got, got it off that as good as I can. I'm about to roll this up, throw it in the trash. All right, guys, I got to deal with some things, bro. This sleeping bag I just bought. Just bought, but now it's been peed on and thrown up on. I'm going to get that out of here. I'm just back to using the single sleeping bag. Going to take this bed frame out and just use my cot again, bro. Yeah. Actually, I have decided to just keep this. Hopefully, I can move these logs over. And then just cut it. <laughs> well, bam. Got this bad boy wrapped up with all the throw up in there. I'm going to tie that up, throw it in the truck bed. Hitting a dump run on Monday. When I'm taking little bro to the vet. I got this one mostly cleaned off. No, not mostly. I got, I got this one cleaned off, kind of. Might just hit the laundromat and wash it, for real. I have not done laundry once, no. I have done laundry once since I moved to New Mexico, but that was not even in New Mexico. I did laundry when I went back to my parents in Oregon. So I might just do some laundry. I do need some socks, for real. 
but that's that's another two three hours in town <sighs> but yeah i don't know i might clean it because i just bought it but i did buy it because hoop was always crawling in my sleeping bag and the sleeping bag was too small for all that so i got this but now they're gonna sleep on the ground so i don't know Probably actually going to throw it in the van until I decide that I really want it. Yeah, I believe it is ready to cut. I'm going to go get the drill and the saw and freaking get her done. Tiny ass bed, that's all right. So my bed is considerably smaller now. Um, and we got a little dog bed underneath. They should both fit under there for show skis. If I ever notice Frank getting too cold, I'll, I'll move him up into my bed, but he's been fine. He hops down in the middle of the night sometimes and just sleeps on the ground anyways, so he'll be good. And he keeps, keeps throwing up and peeing and shitting. He pooped in my bed. I got to call him Frank Reynolds now. Crazy. That was kind of a game changer, actually. Uh, before, I was going to sit on my bed. Jesse was going to sit in a chair here. We'll kick it. Computer here. But now we could get two chairs here or anywhere. We could fit four people hanging out in here. Okay got a spot to hang the chairs and a spot to hang my dirty clothes this is the first time i've hung my dirty clothes and this is how i access them it's the small pocket but it actually accesses the big pocket so that is pretty sweet oh shoot getting full getting real full backpack i don't know where to put these boxes of clothes probably just under here actually genius so i got all my storage over here now in that corner, we throw up some jackets right here. Whoa, bam. All right, I've got my cords organized a little bit better. I've got the microphone and the headphones running around, a screw and a nail right there. Whoa, bam, whoa, bam. Ching pow. <laughs> Frank's trying to figure out how to get past this log. Come on, Frank. You got it. Good boy. Good boy, Frank. Good boy, buddy. Just sitting here editing, but the boys seem to enjoy their new bed. Okay, guys, I'm here with Sierra. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're gonna plant some garlic today. Oh yeah. I can open these. <laughs> like you can break the cloves apart, and each one of these will become a new garlic bulb. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Dang. Stop Hooper from stealing Ooh. the garlic. Drop! <laughs> he looks so happy with it though. And we'll break these down and then we'll plant them and hopefully we'll have some garlic, I guess in the summer? Sweet! Maybe in the fall? Do it like this. It gives everybody enough room. All right, I got the dogs with me. Thinking of renaming them Shane and Matt. But going to the vet for a little Frank dog and running some other errands too. I'll keep you guys posted. They're always so calm in the car. It's pretty sweet. I appreciate you guys being all calm and such. I'm so small, I'm in competition with the <laughs> Well guys, terrible news. Little Frank is five months old. He's the runt. The vet has never seen a puppy his age that small. Um, there's a good chance 
he dies in the next few months and there's a good chance that he doesn't grow anymore than he is right now. Doctor gave him some barium. Uh, it's a laxative to hopefully push anything through if anything's stuck. But yeah, it's not looking good for old Frank. Um, there is a chance that he lives a long, happy life still. But there's no way that happens in my care. He needs a home. And I don't think outside is the best life for him. He definitely would not make it in Alaska. And he'll never be able to run away from predators or nothing, dude. He's only a month younger than Hooper. And he weighs nine pounds. Hooper's like 60. But guys, my goal is going to be to get him into the home that he needs and the home that he deserves. It would be awesome if one of you guys had a home and thought you could take care of Frank and give him an awesome life. I will drive him to you wherever you are. If not, I'm going to just be searching for a home for him. As bad as I want to believe that I can doctor him back into a healthy big pup. That's not what the doctor seems to think. So I have to do what's right for the puppy dog, Frank. If any of you guys are interested in a Pyrenees puppy that uh, is the runt, he's going to be small his whole life and not be full energy, let me know. Because he's still so cute, guys, and still happy. He does seem like a happy pup. Let me know, guys. Let me know if anyone has a home for him. And now I gotta go run more errands. And I got some green tarps for Jesse's, Jesse's house and for the shed. And I'm just feeling really sad, actually. I gotta go into Walmart and get some things. But guys, I haven't been to Walmart since since Jesse left, it's been it's been a long time since the last trip. I'm sad, bro. All right, I just dropped all the trash off at the dump. And that is it, back to the mountain, buddy. Shit's kind of devastating, guys. I know life's supposed to throw you challenges and stuff like that, but... Come on, bro. Just gonna keep feeding them, keep giving them water, keep giving them love. I got them a bunch of new toys for them to play with. While we find him a new home. I really hope you guys can help me rehome him. To somebody that's going to give him a more relaxing life. Than out here in the woods with me. Uh, damn. I am super thankful that I was able to get him out of the situation he was in. Definitely thinking of stopping by bro's house and giving him a little piece of my mind but i don't know it wouldn't even help but i'm hoping that i can find a good home for him and he can live out the rest of his life happily and healthily
They couldn't pinpoint anything wrong with him. His heart seemed fine. Temperature was good. Uh, he just is tiny. He's nine pounds and five months old, apparently. Oh, he's going poop. I wonder if he's going to poop something out. That was lodged in there. Because he got some laxatives. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. You can do it. Nice. He pooped. Good boy, buddy. What's up, dude? I can't find your poop, dude. Where? Where is it? Oh, maybe Hoop will sniff it out. Hoop. Hoop. Good boy. <laughs> he did find it. Oh. He's trying to bury it. Hoop, why are you burying his poop? Hoop, stop. Well, there was no worms coming out of it and nothing out of the ordinary in his poop. But yeah, he should be just about as big as Hooper. Hooper's probably 50 or 60 pounds. Frank's only nine pounds. It's tough, dude. He seems happy. He seems exactly like... <laughs> Hoop, when hoop was his size. The uh, the only way the doctor was able to tell uh, that he's five months is because of his teeth. Apparently, he's got, uh, hey buddy, these uh, front two teeth are apparently permanent teeth. And those only come in at about five months. I'm so sorry, Frank. I'm so sorry, Frankie. But, guys, the faster I can find him a home, the easier it will be for him. And the easier it'll be for me. Hoop is still burying his poop. Hoop! Come on, bro. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Damn. There's a chance he never grows anymore. There's a chance he never gets stronger. So, I definitely cannot have a dog like that out here in the woods where there's predators. But he's a happy pup. I think he could make it, guys. I definitely think there's a chance he could make it. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, Frank. Little Franklin. Super calm, guys. Great little puppy to have. I just hope he can get a solid, solid few years out of him. Good thing I wasn't planning on using this cot. Got, got some good rain. Get to check out Jesse's spot. See, see how his spot's doing with the rain. He eats. I think he maybe threw up everything he ate on my bed the other night, but he eats at least. If he throws up again, I'm definitely heading back to the vet. But we'll see if uh, those laxative cleared him up and hopefully he can just poop that right out. It is, this is what I've been feeding Hoop. Just large breed puppy, dry food, uh, it, real chicken. See how happy of a boy he is? Frank, what's up Frank? What's up Frank? What's up Frank? Jesse, I'm praying for your house, brother. I got my toes crossed and everything, G. Oh gosh. Well, that all happened this morning. Just got done editing. 
I got the most emotional just editing that, bro. Uh, I really hope you guys can help me find him a home, a nice, loving home where he will be happy. Oh, Frank. What's up, bud? I appreciate you guys a ton. Energy ball. Energy ball, what the? Guys, take that energy and have a beautiful day and a beautiful week. And I will see you guys next time. Willie out. Hey. I make the glizzy flit, wrap the string around the hood, wait for a tug and reel it in. Ayy, I reel it in, looking out for bears, cause Willie eat the same food as him. I should probably buy a wood stove, but I can't find one on Craigslist, and they expensive at the store. I'm in my bag, looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river, flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.